Welcome to part 5 of EasyFM tutorial. In this one we're going to take a look at propulsion. Uh, now, um, before we start, I'd like to flatten the terrain so we don't start downhill. So, let's change this scale to zero, like this. And I don't know when, where the terrain ended up. In a second. Okay, there it is. I'm going to spawn a new aircraft over here. Fine. And of course, we also need some control binding that will allow us to control the throttle so let's call it throttle and let's bind it to let's say right stick y axis in other words if we push uh, right stick forward we're going to go forward so This is going to be the, our input event, and we are going to link it to travel input, like this. Now we just going to our EasyFM module, go to engine. We need to enable it and set our idle trust and our full trust. Let's say idle will be say 100. Let's see what happens. Well, it's not moving. And I also don't have control over it due to the fact that it doesn't auto process our player. So let's do it like this. Okay. I'd like to set uh, the idle power uh, about 10,000. So at idle, it's going to slowly creep forward. But it's not doing it. Well, let's increase it even more. Let's start with one million. And that's about right amount of power. Maybe a bit too much, so let's do this. And now we are also going to set spool up time and spool down time let's say three seconds each and this is of course time it will take to uh, for the engine to spool up from idle to full throttle so this is idle and let's go full throttle and we're speeding up and take off and I see I have set control sensitivity way too high because at this kind of speed it shouldn't really be possible to to lift the nose wheel that on take off. So let's reduce our pitch sensitivity to let's say 0 0.2. Same with your same with roll and also reduce stability also to one tenth of its original value. Now let's see if we can fly now. Full throttle. And lift off. Now it's behaving quite nicely. Uh, I apologize for slightly glitchy debug view. Uh, this is due to lack compensation, which is really a problem with the Unreal Engine, and I can't really change it from a plugin. 
But as you can see, the engine is now set and the aircraft is speeding up quite nicely. And I believe that's all for this part. As I said before, this is really quite simple and only extra extra things you can really do is enabling engine curves which allows you to change the amount of power the engine outputs depending on air density speed or Mach number I think I didn't cover the atmosphere uh, yet so maybe in one of the next episodes and uh, another option here is prop torque what that does is add uh, a sort of uh, roll momentum when the engine is running this is for propeller driven airplanes which will have um, tendency to drop one wing uh, when you increase the throttle it's really simplified simulation uh, it doesn't do p factor just the torque itself i already covered spool up and spool down and and one more thing is VTOL which uh, allows you to uh, change direction in which uh, the engine is operating or oh, I can show it off so let's say VTOL max angle is the maximum angle the uh, thrust can be redirected uh, let's say I put 90 there it can be redirected 90 degrees downwards and of course we have uh, extension and retraction time for this as well and over here we had our VTOL input and I'm going to link it to our brakes so when we press brakes the thrust will be redirected downwards uh, I think I'm going to need to increase uh, maximum trust as well so it will actually take off let's see five times and see if it's enough breaks down and travel up and as you can see the jet is hovering Uh, I don't think it's I can actually fly it like this and the reason is that we don't have our maneuvering thrusters or RCS enabled so let's turn them on uh, now uh, there's an option to scale the amount of power this uh, reaction system has with the engine power this is useful if you want to simulate something like F-22 or some other jet uh, with uh, thrust vectoring so I'm not going to do that because we're going to simulate a hovering jet sensitivity let's do one for pitch one for Yo and one for roll and see if it's controllable in hover. Brakes on, power on, and it's a little bit controllable, but I think it's going to need more. And it's somewhat controllable now but as, as always the, the VTOL is very difficult to control extra challenge for your game 
if extra charge isn't what you want, EZFM comes with a set of computer assists which we will take a look at in the next part.